viewers we're back here once again to give you some good exciting actions this time around we're going to be very precise on kicks and particularly on how you can take good kick everybody can kick but when we talk about kick in specific yeah, there are some some thing mechanisms some things you need to follow sequences that will make that kick effective so watch out for our already subscribers keep watching and keep giving us your comments and for our new comers please subscribe hit the bell you are going to have it um very interesting we have very more interesting than the previous and the ones that are coming so stay tuned watch out for the actions the kick we want to take is a front kick my game a front kick it is a very effective kick because it thrust now just take an example step take the thrust in my game to go you see what happens that is how it goes it thrusts now what makes it that good or that effective for you to be able to take the target off there are series of things that we need to watch out and talk about now lift the leg sequentially good now this is the first thing all these are the the, the processes that takes that we ends up with the good migrate good front kick but it comes as if uh, it comes as one just at once but they are steps stages so now this is the first stage when it comes up here it locks here now the next stage is flaps from the knee Pow. now when it flaps from the knee the knee and the waist equally thrust forward now return it bend it now flap and thrust in go Pow. see that is what happens okay now if that is it how one will ask a question is it possible that you take there and then you're not at the mercy of your opponent because it you might take pop and then land in no why because you have to share your weight no matter how strong how tough the kick should be you have to share your weight while taking the kick the weight goes and that is why this the slanting that's where the slanting comes when you take the kick the slanting up as it thrusts the slanting you slant back so the weight becomes 50 50 so that you have a balancing so when you thrust it you bring it back stay maintain now watch that again go full now you see that that is why it can gain its balancing back not falling at the mercy of the opponent after taking the kick right watch that one more time go good beautiful one more time go good okay now we come to the to the target now just raise the leg for me now you ask where actually on the leg on the foot does the target or where does hit where do you have the the points that hits the target is it the toes or where is it the flat foot no it is not though we have a kick that we can use the flat foot however but for more effectiveness especially if you have a specific area of attack it has to be the ball of the foot here where you have the toes just right here now you bend the toes backward and slant good that is it slant it when the toes come backward and this can go to the neck penetrate full it can go here full so these are the, 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 the ways you can take your kick your front kick to be very effective very very effective now let's take another kick the other one was a front kick this time around it's a slap kick a mawashi game it also has its own way of uh, landing and how to make it effective like i said before anybody can kick but it has to do with you knowing the the, the, the actual sequencing that you use in your kicking now the steps and the process that goes with it 
with the Mawashigiri, which is a slap kick, is this. Now go. Ah, good. Now some call it roundhouse kick. But I most of time, most likely, I like to call it slap kick. Now let's go. Let's go. Ah, all right. One more time. Go. Good. Now that kick is very, very strong and effective. We have it in two variations. The first variation is look, just raise it, land it here. The first variation is here. The top area of your kick is the first, first variation. Then we have another variation of it that you use the instep. You push it in. It's here now you use for it, for the target. The heel area. So that's the two variations of my mawashigiri to this slap. Okay. Now, what we have? How can we now make an effective mawashigiri to make it strong, devastating? It's also almost the same way, the same sequence with the front kick, the maigiri. It has to do with the knee. Now bend the knee. You bend it. Back. Now drop it again. Now when he, when you're coming in, fine, you do not take it from, since it's, 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 it's coming like a circular motion, you don't come like that. You come as if you are taking the front kick to my head. Why? Because you have to also safeguard yourself while taking the kick and you also at the same time while taking the kick you do not give a sign of what kick is coming because when you're coming this way whoever is there will think maybe it's a front kick that is coming but it's a slap kick now from here now you can convert it this is how the conversion comes now convert it there and land go that is it okay now if this the waist and the knee is not involved in that kick, it can never give you the result, the required result. So you have to be very, very careful when taking a slap kick. The knee and the waist. And also, not on circular motion. Come straight, like what you saw, come straight as if you are going for a front kick and then convert it. That's the effective one and the most safe one. Okay? Okay, the third one now, which is which might be the last one for today, is the sidekick Yokogiri. Now, just like we have two variations on Mawashigiri, the top surface of uh, your foot lands on the target, and also the instep also lands on the target. Those are the two variations. They all they have their different parts to play when it when you're talking about devastation, devastating action. Now, this one equally, the Yokogiri Psyche has also two variations. We have the knife edge variation and we have also the full foot stamping that lands on your target. They also have their own function, what they do, the effects that you expect from each of the kicks. Now let's see. The first variation, the knife edge. Now strike, go. Now this is the knife edge. The side of the foot is the knife edge. And where does this go? It has specific area if you are looking for some kind of uh, um, effects. Some kind of effects you are looking for, you can take it straight to the throat here. You can take it straight to the solar plexus here. You can also take it to the side of the rib. Now this one penetrates in between the ribs are aligned like this. Like that. Now this penetrates the rib directly which it can easily break the rib because this knife might land on one single rib bone and once it lands on one single rib bone it's easy to break that rib bone. Okay? Alright. Now step back again. Now let's watch this the kick again. Go, knife edge, go, go. Now, the same way to make it, uh, if you want to ask about how should it be, how can you take it to the heart and top, 
is almost the same way. The waist involved and the knee also involved. Now the sequence, you still come the way as if you are going for a front kick. And from here now, you twist the waist and thrust it. It's as simple as that. So you need to follow the sequencing. Then when you twist it, now look at the leg on the ground. The leg on the ground has to also twist to give it a firm stance. Firm stance there. Now let's pick the other variation of the same side kick you will give it. You land it, land complete foot on the on the target. Go. Pop. Once again. Stamp it go. Pop. Good. Now in this one, it's a stamping. It's no longer the light knife the edge of the foot is now the full foot landing this one also is like a hammer on the target because it comes full and this is mostly used to, to take an opponent off the area or off the range of the target is also very devastating and how you take it to be effective is also the same way the waist and the knee involved and the sequencing also comes as if you are taking your my gear your front kick and come back again and stamp it's as simple as that so with this i think you can watch it and go over and over again and then try to get the explanations you can practice it on your own you can do it if you're serious about it okay for today we are going to wrap it here and to come your way next time i want to remind those that are just coming in to, to watch the videos please do subscribe hit the bell and leave a comment that you will be having more of them